Hello everyone, this is ZX Cameron with the next weapon tutorial for Modern Warfare. Uh, this tutorial is going to be based on the FAL, which personally, I don't recommend this weapon because it just doesn't stand up well against a lot of the other assault rifles considering you have to semi-fire each shot or you have the burst option but if you missed one shot in that burst then you have to go to a second burst which is going to take a lot longer to kill someone than a submachine gun or, an, or another assault rifle would so overall I do not recommend this weapon I'm still going to post this video however because I know that some of you out there are just looking to unlock all the camos for it so you can get that platinum camo for all your assault rifles so I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to use this weapon and how to build your attachments to make it the most effective in multiplayer. Okay, so when going into this blueprint, the most important thing to remember is when you're making your build for this weapon is balance. So anytime that you apply whatever attachment it is that you want to use if you want a suppressor maybe you're going to use the one that increases range you can see here that it is decreasing a little bit of mobility and if you look at that little bar that's showing you what the fal should be at with no attachment so when you add an attachment that brings down your mobility you're going to want to make sure that you go right back in and find another attachment that's going to bring it back up to that bar. And that's going to help you keep this weapon balanced when raising accuracy and control. But remember, you got to push accuracy and control because flinch resistance and recoil control is really important. But anytime you raise that, you're going to be taking away from mobility, unless of course you're using the tack laser which complements all three, which is another reason why I recommend using that attachment for this weapon. Um, I also recommend putting a small sight on it, like a red dot sight or a holographic sight, nothing bigger because it's not going to take away from very much of your mobility and control, but it's also going to help you tremendously when it comes to focusing on your targets and getting your three shots in before they kill you. And another thing that I find really important with this weapon is either using sleight of hand or a bigger mag because when you're coming up against multiple targets, 20 bullets isn't always going to do it unless you're being very careful. So if they run right up on you, you might spray the weapon a little bit and lose your ammo, keeping those extra bullets in there is going to help you tremendously when you're coming up on three or more people with this weapon. Okay, so one of the first things that I need to point out is in these video clips I'm going to show you, I'm not actually using the builds that I created for you, although I did test them out. I tested this weapon out with a lot of different builds and like I said before it's all about balance. It doesn't really matter which specific ones you go with as long as you follow the advice that I gave you. And uh, if you want to make it really easy on yourself, I'm just going to show you three quick builds that I did use that worked really well with this weapon uh, with a couple different playing styles. So here we go. With that being said, uh, watching the rest of this video isn't going to specifically give you the strategy on what to use with all three of these builds, but it is going to give you a chance to see how you can use this weapon to give you an edge in battle. The only stats you really have to work on with this weapon is accuracy and control and what that's going to do is uh, whether you're raising your weapon stability or uh, putting a grip on your weapon which helps with flinch resistance and recoil control those are the things you're going to want to focus on but every time you add an attachment or like a red dot sight or something like that 
that's going to increase accuracy or control it's going to decrease your mobility and you have to be really careful with that because if you can't aim fast enough with this weapon you're not going to win very often unless they just don't even know you're there And although this is a borderline marksman rifle, I definitely do not recommend using the scope because you're hindering your mobility so much that it's not going to be very effective. And high mobility and fire rate, something that's really important with this weapon, uh, which is hard to use with the scope. So here we go. So the one thing I want to say as far as strategy goes with this weapon, uh, the most important thing, the most important mindset to have while using it is patience. You don't just want to go spraying at every target you see because this gun's got a lot of kick to it. So if you're not landing your shots, you're going to get beat fairly quickly. And uh, the reason focus and shooting slower with this weapon is going to work when you can is because it only takes three shots to kill someone if you don't hit them in the head. So with that being said, you can shoot three times very quickly, or if you want to use that burst, you just have to make sure that you line right up on your enemy and make sure every shot in that burst is going to hit them, and they will die pretty quickly. make sure that if you do end up in a shootout with another player you're able to take the time to focus on your target and hit all three of your shots just pace in between each shot and don't shoot until you know your sight is on them and you're gonna hit or else you're just giving away your position and you know taking away from your aim because of the recoil One of the things that I do find very important to add to this weapon is one sleight of hand for a bigger mag because if you're going up against more than one enemy, especially if you intend on playing ground war, you're going to want those extra shots or you're going to want to be able to reload quickly because this weapon does reload fairly slow. So as far as the field operator goes, I would say the only thing that I find very useful with this weapon in these type of game modes is stopping power. It does give you a chance to hit them through the wall or take one less shot to kill them. So make sure you get that stopping power equipped. And if you're going to do that, stopping power I believe has the slowest... Stopping power does take the longest time to accumulate compared to the other field operators, so I definitely recommend using tune-up on perk 3 because that's going to make it respond a lot faster. I have to say, out of all the sites, I think the site that the sites that I found work the best are the small red dot sites with a smaller sight picture. The reason for that is it just makes it easier to stay focused what's inside that circle right on your target, and even using the attack laser helps you keep 
the stability and stay on target, it helps you aim down your sights a little faster. So this is a weapon that I would definitely recommend using the attack laser as well. Personal radar drone. 